humans have well-established relationships with dogs that date back to 15,000 BC. There are about 50 million dogs in North American homes and 110 million in China. While most people today treasure dogs as companion animals, many are still being raised as livestock for human consumption. The honest truth about the dog meat trade. Killing dogs for meat is a serious animal welfare issue in Asian countries. It's a billion dollar industry. 30 million dogs are killed annually in Asia for human consumption. In Vietnam, 5 million dogs are slaughtered yearly. In South Korea, 1 million are slaughtered. In response to public outcry, the nation decided to make killing dogs for food illegal, but eating dog meat, however, is still accepted. China may have one of the densest pet dog populations, but it also has one of the highest numbers of dogs killed for food. In the estimated 10 million dogs killed for dog meat in the country every year, only 20% of the population actually eats it, while 65% have never even tried it. Why eat dog? At the beginning of the first millennium in 206 AD, China was in a feudal state during the Han Dynasty. At the time, it was common to eat dog meat. Farmers often resorted to slaughtering their dogs to supplement their limited diet of rice and millet. By the Sui and Tang dynasties from 508 AD to 907 AD, people began to eschew eating dog meat as they started to see dogs as loyal companions. Over the centuries, food availability began to rise, and people of today no longer need to rely on dog meat for sustenance. Eating dog may seem obviously inhumane to many, but for some in Asian cultures, there is a myth that pet dogs are different than meat dogs. Animal welfare groups such as Soy Dog are actively trying to bust that myth and educate the public on the cruelty that is involved in slaughtering dogs for food. The group launched a campaign in South Korea called The Dog is a Dog to combat the misinformed notion that meat dogs do not have a soul or feelings, while pet dogs do. The dog meat trade is considered inhumane for many reasons. The dogs are raised on factory farms in cramped and unsanitary conditions. Animals Asia notes that a large percentage of dogs were either originally vulnerable strays, or in many cases, pet dogs stolen from families' homes. Dogs are tortured for hours before being skinned alive in boiling water, burned alive, hanged, or electrocuted. According to Soy Dog, the reason for torturing these creatures is due to the belief that pain inflicted will tenderize the meat. Dogs are shipped to meat markets in cramped cages, and they arrive dehydrated, injured, and exhausted as they watch other dogs get bludgeoned to death. President of Humane Society International and the Humane Society of the United States, Kitty Block, visited one of South Korea's 17,000 dog meat farms before the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics and was, quote, heartbroken to see how starved these animals were, not just for food, but for human attention. As the inhumane reality behind the dog meat trade is coming to light, there has been major controversy surrounding China's popular Yulin Dog Meat Festival. The Yulin Festival goes by the official name, the Lychee and Dog Meat Festival, and 2019's event will take place on June 21st to June 30th. During this time, an estimated 10,000 dogs will be tortured and eaten. Animal activists have reported that dogs are publicly clubbed to death at the festival and that its hygiene practices do not meet the requirements of Chinese regulations. In China, activists are working hard to end the dog meat trade. Organizations such as Soy Dog, Animals Asia, and Humane Society International are facilitating rescues in China to save vulnerable dogs, and they are also addressing the industry's systemic issues. HSI launched China Animal Protection Power, a team of activists that work with local authorities to pull over trucks jammed with illegally acquired and illegally transported dogs and cats. There is even a ban on dog meat in Hong Kong. Dog meat bans have been introduced in other eastern countries too, the Philippines, Taiwan, Thailand, and Singapore. More recently, Indonesia has pledged support for a ban. In the U.S., a bill was introduced in late 2018 to ban the import, export, and slaughter of cats and dogs for human consumption. A similar bill has been introduced in the U.K. that would ban the sale of dog meat across the country. Want to show your support for bills to ban dog meat? Check out the links to petitions in our video description. That's it for today. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. New videos every Tuesday and Friday.